Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Sleigh bells ring, are you listening? In the land, snow is glistening. A beautiful sight, We're happy tonight, walking in a winter wonderland. You yeah. started the clock late. Yeah, you started the clock way late, Giorgio. Uh, How late. high are you? That was me. No, oh, man. how high are you, Bob? Uh, you know, I get a contact high from him sometimes, but usually not very. Got it, got it, yeah. got it, got it, got it. Got he's, like a, it. he's got like a pig pen thing going on. So here's what happened today, kids. This is our Christmas special. Um, Dan and I are dressed up as Christmas people, and uh, the two of you dirtbags are dressed up as what appears to be members of Big Lebowski, cast members. Man, that's just like your, your opinion, man. <laughs> I like how you say that in a cloud of weeds. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was me. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, where yeah. are we at? 40 seconds. Sorry. We're doing good, uh, guys. Yeah, I, I, I feel like we're fine here. Again, if you're new to the program, we're supposed to wait 90 seconds before we swear on YouTube mm. to get monetized for it. It doesn't really matter because, well, we're not Does making it? any money off of YouTube anyway. So <laughs> yeah. uh, I, don't, I don't even know what the, the big deal is with it, but... Uh, if you're if you're keeping score at home, we're at 20 seconds left. I think people are afraid of uh, how good I look in this Grinch costume. Probably at YouTube, that's probably what they're talking about right now, right over the Google building downtown. Like, yeah. hey, we have got to stop this man somehow. Yeah. How are we going to do it? They're afraid uh, of uh, just your raw energy, your sexual content, right? Everything, yeah. everything yeah. that you're putting out. Yeah, they're afraid of right Fuck! now. Fuck! Yeah. <laughs> 90 seconds. Oh, seconds. there it is. There it is, kids. Yeah, it is, Welcome man. to Drinking Bros. Yeah, man. Welcome to Drinking coming Bros. On, coming on back for that Christmas special. Yeah. You know, really proud of you, by the way. You look great. You actually look like the dude. I. This was always the goal. You don't remember? Yeah, it is. Last January yeah. is when Evan said, I do not want you to cut your hair anymore. And next shot show, you are to wear a robe <laughs> and walk around as the dude. I mean, that, that, that is it. Are we going to have a shot show this year? By no, the way? it's canceled. It's, uh, they're, really? they're doing like some kind of virtual. Oh, nonsense. God. Yeah. Like that's going to do any fuck. All well, at least push. everybody's not going to get the flu. <laughs> I mean, shit. <laughs> Can you imagine if it like shot show is known or the shot show flu is, is a very well known phenomenon. Can you imagine in covid I mean, everybody oh, would get COVID. Every, I mean, it would be everyone. it'd be great though because uh, you know, what are they going to do about it? Right, right. Yeah, go home and you not know? taste stuff for two weeks and then be fine. Great, let's do this. Hey, there we are. Yeah, um, this is this is the last <laughs> show here for Drinking Bros for for 2020. Um, we should do a recap of, of how it all went. Uh, everything that happened in 2015. Yeah. Well, oh, no, 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 not that no. far. 2020. <laughs> how, did, how did 2020 go? We well, could, we it could... started out with the fires in uh, Australia, in Australia, yeah. where about I think a billion animals or ten billion animals died or something yep. like that. Yeah. Some people Australia, as well. Who yeah. cares? Is on fire. Yeah, the whole thing. The whole thing. Yeah, it was. The whole thing, not man. anymore. Kangaroos, a bunch thing. of like 30, I mean, 38,000 kangaroos. How convenient died. is it, though, man, that you don't even hear about that fire anymore? <laughs> like, remember, uh, I, I'm just pointing this out. No. Remember no. when like the caravans were the big threat? People cared. And then it went to all of a sudden caravans just disappeared. It went to the impeachment. Uh, no, there's a caravan on the way to the border right now, apparently. I saw an article about it the other day, and it was like, huh, first, first challenge for Biden is how to deal with the caravan. Like, is it really a challenge to be like, hey, you guys don't live here, so you can't just come in? <laughs> no. Is that a challenge? No, no, it's not. Come on, man. Yeah. So we had, we had, uh, we that we had the impeachment that never happened, and then uh, no, no, you had Russian collusion first. That's what I'm saying. Well, that happened for no, a couple no, of years. No, that but, was that was that led off then we entered into the impeachment but we're looking at 2020 and, yeah and in 2020, 2020 of january he got uh vindicated for being not doing whatever the fuck it is they said he was going to do and then that was that and then we moved on to covid like two days later uh well then no there's other stuff no, in between you're, that you're forgetting kobe bryant dodd oh shit no that was later God though damn it you're oh, forgetting march you're forgetting yeah. uh no uh, kobe died in, in uh, january january, january. Yeah. okay so then that was during the fires <laughs> yes okay we're still in january jesus christ what day did kobe die i, I want to say it was like january 27th um I, do you know off the top of your head yeah, uh, January 26th. You're still yeah. missing 26. one. Uh, yeah. Kasim Soleimani was killed on the 2nd of January. Oh, yeah. Oh, and shit. it almost yeah. started World War III, which is... Yes, Iran. Yeah. yeah. Missile crisis. Yeah. As, as a matter of fact, Giorgio, there's a whole song 
to this. It's called 2020 The Song. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> fuck, dude. The, that missile crash. I forgot about that whole shit. Yeah. I and ran then, Iran almost <clears throat> kicked off World War Three. Murder Hornets, which also didn't happen. Murder Hornets were great. That I think murder, murder Hornets. I think that was a test bed. I think I think what they were doing at this point is what what is the public going to uh latch on to right yeah you know man no one cares we got fooled by that one before before yeah. murder hornets i think it was 2013 it was africanized bees which seems yeah. kind racist. of racist right yeah. like yeah. what does that mean africanized um what exactly i want i want somebody in the scientific community to explain to me what the word africanized means like did they go on a tour in africa and they or been, something i don't know they and, were they were at a, a re-education camp mm. yeah that's right. Bee camp for your your whiteness, right? The bees had to go through white training, well, something like that. No, yeah. Kanye. All, for all it just means is of African descent. Ah, even for bees, Af- Africanized. So are just African. Descent. So why? What? Why? Uh, they were just honeybees from Europe, banged honeybees from Africa, and the honeybees from Africa are meaner. Dude, you know, Racist. you know how Racist, yeah. you know how fast animal problems fucking. Get out of hand, man. Real fast. Uh, don't yeah. start with this bullshit. I, no, I'm I telling you right God, now. I'll, I'll shoot you, you This right might be life. something you guys don't know about, but Pablo Escobar had four hippos, uh-huh. in it, and they didn't. When they went to clear out his estate, yeah, they the hippos were underwater, so they didn't they didn't account for the hippos. And now Colombia has a known hippo problem. They've we, gotten completely check that? completely out of hand. Yeah. Colombian That's hippo true. problem. Yeah. Hundred percent hippos dude. are dicks, and they and the hippos Columbia are like is, wiping out villagers. Yeah, hippos man. hippos are super aggressive when it comes to their watering territory, like it, where they spend most of their time. If you come near, they will fuck you up. No can we, way. Can Holy we find shit? A video hippos. Put, yeah, put that up there. How find many a, hippos? Yeah, find a video of. Uh, They're estimated up to eighty hippos in Colombia, where shit, there's that's no that's hippos. A lot, that's a lot of hippos. There was no hippos, and now there's eighty, and they're fucking up villagers, man. Wow, dude. Wow. Dude, what? I heard. I heard like there's villagers getting eaten left yeah. and right. How long is it until uh, hippos uh, start attacking each other and form gangs and stuff? Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. It's only a matter of time. How long until the hippos realize how, how lucrative the Colombian, you know, cocaine trade is? And now you got. What happened if you punch one of those fuckers right in the you side? You would die. Oh, you put you that, die. That, thing, that thing would fucking that kill you. Thing Can you put that on the screen? Kills, a hippo kills more humans than most animals. Really? Yeah. So you couldn't just go and punch one as hard as you wanted to. Hell right the no. God, they are so crazy. violent. They kill like 2,500 people a year. Holy yeah. shit. Is that it? That's a lot. Like that's significantly a, more get those than numbers any other up. animal. Yeah. That's amazing though. Man, I'd love to punch a hippo just to do Look it. Look at this thing. Look at those fuckers, man. Holy shit. They're huge. Oh, uh, wow. They, what, what is it eating there? What's uh, that? A little antelope. They, they, they can weigh wow. up to... Up to between seven and ten thousand pounds. That's not true. I'd like to ride. Look one. it up. What was that Japanese Average hippo movie? weight. It's not seven to ten thousand pounds, dude. What was that Japanese movie? It's uh, thirty three hundred to four thousand. Some of them get up to seven to ten thousand. Rosha, yeah. R- Roku. Maybe the Wilford Brimley of hippos or something. Look at that, man. That's barely eighty right there. Wow, look at those fuckers just going bug <laughs> fuck, dude. Yeah. Man. Dude, I'm telling you, Colombia's got a hippo problem, man. Well, let's uh, send a team down there of uh, people with, you know, that are trained in dealing with hippos. Yeah, you and I actually yeah. have. We've got a, we've been, a lot of hippo training. Yeah. We've been certified in hippo extermination. Well, I mean, look, I want to turn them. I want to flip them. Yeah, I want to. I'd, I'd flip the hippo. I want to make them U.S. assets down there so we can use them in the intelligence community. I, I don't know if you remember uh, that thing. Just looks scary. Are man. they smart though? Are hippos They're smart? Oh, enough? Yeah, they really. They know how to sneak, dude. Fake Dan is is saying yes. How what, how do we know that? Well, here's how we know it. Uh, Ace Ventura: When Nature Calls. Do you remember how he hid inside of one? Yeah, that's no, right. that yeah. was a rhinoceros. rhinoceros. Oh, it was a rhinoceros. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Sorry about that. I mean, they're probably related though. I mean, a ro- rhino is just a hippo. No, the most with a horn, right? the most oh. hippo deaths happen because they're just they hide, and yeah. you just get you just get you know you're scronked. Yeah, they yeah. kind like of. It's a quick scrunk. They yeah. kind of act yeah. like uh, a gator. Like, see, see how fast shit. this thing's going, wow. Ross? Yeah. Oh, that thing Watch. Is, whoa. Yeah, That's it's like, it's a, like dolphin. a dolphin. Yeah. That like, is incredible. And it's no. coming for them. Is that Absolutely on the screen? Not. Man, that is fucking gnarly. Yeah, fuck every bit of that. I don't yeah. want to. I'm not trying to tangle one of those things. Yeah, no, could you man. imagine that thing coming after you in the and water? What you, Look at this. Oh, it's like a submarine. Shit. Look at that. He's dude. he's really getting after it. I tell you this. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> man, look at that shot. Dude, his head is fucking massive. Oh my god, he's really close. That what do you even insanity. shoot that? You need a 50 cal to take that thing. Yeah. Down. Oh yeah, that's like a tank, man. 
And, wow. and then look at that speed, dude. I'd give you $80 if you punched a hippo, Jared. Dude, I'm not getting anywhere even in the same state as a hippo. No, fuck that. Ah, $80 is $80, though, my man. I mean, I kind of wish Tiger King had some hippos. You know, let's talk about that. Is he getting out? You think Trump's going to pardon him on the way out? I don't know, man. <laughs> if you're Trump, do you give a fuck at yeah, this point? Yeah, do you care? It's just like, fuck it. Why not? Let Tiger King out. I think it would be the most hilarious thing. Like, like what, what is it? An hour before? Did they count you down on, on the inauguration of like, hey, man, you're out of here? Because yeah, yeah. if they do, just do it like 30 minutes before and be like, what? Hey, Tiger King's pardon. What was the last man. thing he did in the White House? Are we pardon Tiger King? Man hits hippo at L.A. Zoo. Did he punch him? Wow. Oh, is that is that David Muir? I hate that guy. They launched an investigation. I love every time anything happens, an investigation was launched. Like, yeah. okay, they had it on video. Yeah. What what investigation are you launching? Uh, dude, he's, he's tapped it on the head. I want to see a full fucking body punch. Yeah, I want to see him ride punch. the thing. Yeah. <laughs> Roke Joe. Was that it? Roke Joe? What is that? Ah, uh, damn it. It was a Netflix movie about a fat hippo or a pig or something to that uh, nature. Oh, this doesn't look like Oak it's going to go well. Look up Oak Joe. Uh Yeah, but this guy's fighting a hippo. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about with Oak Joe, right? Is it not a fucking hippo? Have what, you guys what? seen this movie? It's crazy. It's the craziest what fucking movie of all time. What are you guys laughing about? How high are you guys back there? Put the camera yeah, on yourselves. What why? Are you, what are you laughing why at? Why is he there? just giggling? And yeah. Not? Is this about a hippo? Just watching hippo movies? Or is this Okja? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So is Ross Okja a hippo? I can't figure out the name of this famous Netflix Roku. animated film. It's Okja. It's Okja. There it is. I figured it out. But is, is it a hippo? No, that's like, that looks like a hippo mixed with the giant dog from yeah, uh, Never, Never Ending, Ending Story. Story, man. What's his name? Falcor or some yeah. shit? Dude, what do you know about some Atreyu, dog? Or is it? Yeah. Well, I don't understand why they're just uh, shocking these things. What uh, they so it's inspired by my elements of a pig, hippo, and an elephant. Um, this was bo this was Bong, dude. This was the Bonger, uh, Bong Jun Ho, um, who you remember uh, went on to direct Parasite after this. So this movie fucking exploded on Netflix, and then he got uh, Parasite, won the Oscar, blah blah blah. I've fucking seen this movie four times with my kid. It is crazy the effects in this goddamn thing. Uh, clearly, you couldn't remember the name of it. I know. Well, dude, dude who remembers fucking Okja, Okja man? Okja. I think it won animated film of the year. No big deal. <laughs> it did, right? Who, yeah. According yeah, to who? Massive movie. Who fucking decided it won that? Oscars. Fuck them. And yeah. who the, the hell Academy. knows what animated film of the year is? The Academy can suck it. Yeah. yeah. Fuck the Academy. The Academy like seriously, how, over with. how frequently do they get it right? Never. Never. Uh, dude, yeah. I, speaking of which, Parasite won this year, right? Did. Yeah, it was fucking dog I shit. Know. I hated that movie. False. You liked? It's a good movie. Parasite? Yes. There was no ending. They didn't do dick. I want to know not this, bad, but man. It's not, it's not best picture. No. Did, did or did not The Greatest Showman win any Oscars? Uh, one, I think, for soundtrack. What? That's it? Yep. I know not even color. Movie. I know that. I, I know. Yeah, but you it has great color. Hugh Jackman. So I watched this movie because of you. You have the worst recommendations of all time. This is a good movie. My children love The Greatest Showman. And uh, look, gay Hugh Jackman is the only Hugh Jackman you need. How can you not appreciate this movie for its Hugh writing? Jackson. Um, uh, I mean, was, they made a musical tolerable. Yeah. How about that? It was. I, I don't believe it won any Academy Awards. That's horseshit. It was yet. nominated. For some stuff. That is right. horseshit. Best original song. Oh, it didn't win for that, huh? Is this Peter yeah. Buttigieg was part of this? Uh, Pete Buttigieg? Buttigieg? Yeah. yeah. Buttigieg. That's yeah. the I most know, interesting man. way I've ever heard that. Buttigieg? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Buttigieg. Mayor Pete. Mayor Pete. Uh, he, got a, he got a cabinet position. Like, hey, well, wait. Did, was this true or not? Because I don't. I see headlines and I don't even Would know. Would you say he's in the cabinet? It's in, yeah. it, it, if it. it's even true. But I saw this morning that the... Secretary of Defense ordered the Pentagon to stop cooperating with the Biden administration for handover. No. Is that true? That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. I mean, I saw the same thing posted on the internet, but that doesn't mean it's true. No, it's not true. I'm just curious. You I never know now, man. Yeah, I don't know. That's, That's not true. That is true, though. You do never know what the fuck's going on. These no, days. it's like, is this true? Reportedly stunned as Defense Secretary halts Biden. So is that true or not? What's the news source? Uh, this is on Yahoo from the week. Uh, but that's from today. Forbes, ha everyone has it. 
So Oh, today? Wow. Yeah, appears, I have not read that story, actually. It appears to be true. It's up everywhere. Wow. Why? Uh, can you pull that up? Actually, what's the fucking, what's the sitch with this? Obviously, when you were watching this, this will be old news, but it's beginning. To no, look dude. A lot, uh, we, uh, we're getting it's fucked most... up on a Friday here. So, uh, by the way, real quick, before we get into this Biden story, uh, Dan, the money we raised, uh, $20,000 went to uh, children. How many children did that help? Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, let me look again right quick, but I'm pretty sure we did something like, uh, I think, 150 Drinking Bros kids got That's presents. fucking awesome. Like, awesome shit, right? Yeah, 150 kids total, I think. And it, there's, there's a couple more stragglers, so it'll be somewhere north of 150 kids, but yeah. That's, That's awesome. fucking awesome. Did yep. anybody ask for anything outrageous? No. Okay, good. good. It was all just cool stuff? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was, uh, you know... Some things that were that seemed like they might be more for the parent. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, no, it'd be no, awesome no. if it was like a double headed dildo and you were like, yeah, hey, no, 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 it was uh, my child like doesn't want to pay that. off student loans and stuff like that. <laughs> um, some, some people did call, uh, some people did email uh, asking for other things like utility bills that have been shut off and shit like that. And I just paid for that personally because why not? Right. Yeah. Like I didn't want to take out of yeah. the, the president's pool and it's not that much money. But that's yeah, great. I mean, mo nobody asked for anything crazy. That's great, man. Yeah. Fucking A. Um, that's amazing. Yeah, it's awesome. Shout out the the woman who uh, who you put in charge of that. It's to run uh, that yeah, Katie Sportsman. Okay, friend of ours, all of us. Know yes, us. Sportsman. Katie, we appreciate it. Um, that helps out over 150 kids. Yeah, that's, that's amazing. That's her wheelhouse. Thank you, Katie. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, hey. you decided to chime in. Jack Mandeville's here. Jack Mandeville's here. Everybody. Um. So back to this Biden thing. Now, with this, uh, who called this off at the Pentagon? The, it was the, the Secretary, Secretary of Defense. Secretary of Defense called it off. Really? Uh, they're not giving a reason. It just says Pentagon officials were stunned. What do you, do you think they found out stunned. Biden is a, a lizard? No. Maybe? I, I, so two things here. It could Li be. Lizard and what else? Uh, the Hunter. I know hunters. Yeah. Under hey, here's a here's a quick question. Yeah. About lizards or no 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 no. And, and you might be the I'm one. Gonna you're going to be the one to answer this. <laughs> how how is Joe Biden going to hold the highest a security, security clearance, clearance yeah. when he has massive security clearance violations? The first question in your security clearance briefing is, briefing is: Do you or, or your immediate family member, yeah. immediate family members have ties to any other United any other and, governments and, in the country yeah, yeah. In, in the world, or, or have pledged allegiance to them or whatever? Yeah. yeah. I mean, so how the fuck does he pass a security clearance? I don't know. All the stuff that Hunter did isn't just like criminal. A lot of it is a violation <laughs> of the Logan Act, which is <laughs> even more. You know, we'll we'll see what happens. That could very well be it. It could just be. I got it. These posturing the cabinet things. Who the I got fuck the knows? answer. Uh, Pentagon officials order a holiday pause just because it's the holidays. Uh, so it'll resume right after the holidays are over. So. So why is this news? Um, they needed a headline. Yeah, they got nothing. It's Friday. And people, Everybody, everybody's getting fucked up. People are stunned. Yes, dude. I'm but you see, you see, no, you see no how brain. they do that though. You see how they make they frame the headline. Wasn't yeah. even real. Wasn't yeah. even fucking real. No, uh, it's it just a holiday. Yeah, post. Secretary nothing of Defense just put, of God. puts them on down days until the holidays. That's are it. Over. That's not a story. Um, but that's where we are. Even with Biden, shit. I mean, you know, it didn't stop there. Oh man, there's got to be something suspicious. No, it's Christmas next week. I'm still week. asking the question, though. How is he going to rightfully get a security clearance? Uh, boy. Has a, I mean, I don't think it's ever been the case where a president was denied a security clearance. I know people in cabinet positions for various reasons, and people in Congress have had theirs removed, but I've never heard of the president not having it. I mean, honestly, that's not up to us to decide. No. The, the voters decided when they voted him in if that is indeed what happened. Who the fuck knows about that? But uh, <laughs> if, if the voters did indeed decide to put that man in office, then there's no apparatus to remove a security clearance. He's going to get whatever briefings exist, right? I mean, there's, yeah, that's, I that's not right. a thing. Yeah. So, yeah. And he, some rules and he are can, for everyone, he, some rules are not for everyone. He, exactly. he can also decide who does and doesn't get security clearances outside of himself, by the way, which is. Wow. Biden can? The think, the, think, yeah, the think, president can absolutely pull somebody's security. All right, so let me yeah. ask you this. Is Hunter going to be on that list? I don't Christmas? know. Jared Kushner was. Yeah, right? That's what I'm saying. Probably shouldn't have been. Ah. Mm, He's nah. the one that's cutting those deals in the Middle East, by the way. I highly doubt that. Nah. A guy, like, the a guy like him in the Middle East wouldn't last very long. A, a big swinging dick like that? Jewish man. Yeah. Not going to happen. Is that, I, I promise did you. Did they get cert or is that at 13? Well, he's uh, over 13 A bris is at like two. 
Is he? Is he over thirteen? You think of a bar mitzvah? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's when I you think you've got your. I I, I I think you got your brisses and bars. Your yeah. bees are a little mixed. So you get you get uh, your wiener chops know, at, you're uh, you're, at bar mitzvahs. You, Shabbos, right? Shabbos? I went to the Middle East when I was in the war. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. oh I'm sorry. Shabbos. It's Shabbos. It's eight. It's like eight days after after the baby's born. Yeah. So they take a newborn in and. <laughs> just I, like, I did it opening day. I did it myself. Um. You know, they let me. They let me in there. Again, though, I'm an amateur circumcision. You're saying you pair of dykes, man. A pair of. Can you say dykes still? I gave my son a snow cut. I don't know. I think so. Yeah. So you're just tebowing it. Yeah. Yeah. I gave my my son a snow cut. And that's when he decided he would live his life having the full fulcrum. (laughs) I like mine tapered. Yeah. I'm trying to get my my. It's f- in that book. It's in the new yeah, book, by the way. Is, the full yeah. fulcrum. The full fulcrum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my it's, god! Uh, I believe <laughs> there's also a 59 minute rape scene or 58 minute rape scene. <laughs> oh, 52. Uh, Josh McClure. I'll give him a shout out. He he hit me up. He oh, he's seen it now. He read it. <laughs> he's got two 17 year old sons. Let me give you some quick backstory on this. Uh, Josh McClure is Matt Best's cousin. Yeah. Um, uh, great guy. He's a high school football teacher. Very respected in the community. Okay. Uh, also a hell of a fantasy football player. Yeah, he's drinking bros sports and he's won the last two years. The first year was a fluke. My, my player got hurt and he beat me in the championship, whatever. Right. So he goes, Hey, if I repeat this year, my dream is to be a character in your book, the next book. And I was like, great. I'm writing it now. Did not expect him to win. But by the time that the, the league was over, he won. Um, there is a violent, violent 52 minute rape scene in the book. Um, and it's towards it, a dude. And the guy's name is Joshua Anthony McClurg. And, and it says, to this day, if you get McClurg in prison, uh, it's the worst goddamn day of your life. So being McClurg is being raped for 52 minutes, <laughs> pumped full of 23 ounces of semen. <laughs> then afterwards, he takes a hard shit on his back. I believe he describes it as a clumpy horse shit. And then he rips out a chunk of hair out of the back of his head and then fucking eats it. And that's going full McClurg. So what did he think about that? Well, so here's the thing. He laughed his ass off. He's got two 17-year-old sons. They're gigantic fans of the, the book and the audiobooks and all that stuff. And as soon as they saw it, they go, God damn it, dude. We knew you'd get raped, brother. <laughs> <laughs> so they were proud of his dad for getting raped in the book. And, uh, and the kids had actually called it. So his two sons had actually called it last year. And... Uh, Cheers to Joshua Anthony McClurg. Cheers man. to. And if you get McClurg out there over Christmas, it's going to be a rough one. Hey, you know the uh, the wreath, right? That everybody puts up during this time of year. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. that is? Uh, no, pagan. Right? It's pagan is ritual. It really? Yeah, mo- actually, that. most Christmas things are pagan. Rituals. Most of them, yeah. Yeah, the tree. The that's why none of this shit makes any sense to me. Well, the wreath is a vagina. Yes. Right? Yeah, yeah. It yeah, is. Yeah. It is Mother the Nature symbol birthing of the us. Solstice. <laughs> yeah, the symbol of the winter solstice, the the birth of humanity and, and the earth. Pagan. So everybody's just got pussies hanging up. Like all the all you goddamn Christian Republicans were out there making fun of pink hats, and you've got fucking green vaginas hanging up on your goddamn door now. Yeah, that actually is an homage to pagans. <laughs> yeah. Is it really? I yeah, didn't know that. Yeah. All I of didn't know that. the blood of the lamb is a sacrifice ritual from paganism, where you would have a some kind of. A, uh, hooved animal up here metal cage yeah. you down below they cut it open and the blood pours over you as a purification ritual right yeah blood of the land that's where it came from i i think we should do it with periods oh God. i mean let's just have a little is you know, there is uh, find people just go to craigslist find people who are heavy bleeders who've got a heavy flow is that so, just is that, is that like a category on i craigslist, own this i actually own the website stop eating my tampons.com <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I gotta since it's the end of the year, one of the funny one of the funnier stories of the year that we were talking about since we we're yeah. talking about the end of the year and we're getting fucked up today, so who cares? There was this girl that was super hot that was on the show two and a half years ago. All of you guys were there for this. I'm not gonna say who it was. Anyways, uh we were looking for a girl for Giorgio, and I was like, man, if you could find this one girl, she was super hot and smart and everything else or whatever. We pulled up her Instagram and she had period blood smeared all over her face. And uh, and he goes, oh, you mean this girl with period blood smeared all over her face? <laughs> I was unaware that that was a thing that women were doing for Wait their skin. Wait a minute. This is somebody that we had on the show? Correct. And it was, uh, it was in Los Angeles. Wait, we there was Los a girl. Angeles. There was a girl who had period blood on her face and we had her on our show. Yeah. Can, hey, can you put that on the, what's her on name? the screen? 
What's um, her What's her name? Because I'm not gonna pretend like we don't know who the fuck she is. Let's just talk about it. Who is it? All right. Yeah, we can say it. Fuck it. Who cares? I don't. She's not coming back on the show. I don't think. I mean, uh, she has it on her Instagram. Yeah, she has it on her Instagram. It was just fucking. Who is the she? God damn it. Her Her name is Crotchy. Can you pull up Instagram? Oh, when you're oh there? yeah. We're dude. We're never gonna see that girl. Again. Yeah. So pop pop it up. But uh, she period blood <laughs> on her face, and Georgia was like, "Look at how woke I am. I'm dumping out into my hand and smeared it on me." That's where we've reached, uh, bro. That's, that's, here's that's the thing. So it's K R O T. If you follow this girl, why? You know that she is fucking weird. Man. I but I enjoy that the the whole her whole. Oh, bullshit. she got there's a whole titty on that. Uh, keep going, thing. scrolling down. Look for the period blood on her face. Um, and then, uh, yep, yep, there, there it, is. it is. There it is. Oh God. <laughs> okay. Happy. Oh. What does it say? Happy moon time. Menstrual. Is this on the screen right now? Yeah. Okay, well, good. no, don't put it on the screen. Why? Oh, Cause it's God. disgusting. Who gives yeah. a shit? It's, yeah. it's I don't, Instagram. I don't, dude, Instagram look at that, that looks like the bathtub from, from fucking, uh, what is that movie? The, That's more blood than I saw in the war. <laughs> Gummo. That looks like the bathtub from oh, Gummo. Gummo. That's a great movie. <laughs> Wait, Gummo? What the fuck is that? You've oh, never, seen, you've never Gummo? seen Gummo? It's a great I think, movie. I think oh. Hot Bob is getting ready to vomit. Okay, like he's so got, you know what? She's got Max Scherzer eyes, but, too. But, yeah, but, yeah. but yeah, why? Yeah, yeah. Let me read this off to the Why audience. is the blood on her inner lips? Right. So Look me, at that. Let me read it to you. Menstrual blood. Uh, it says, happy moon time. Menstrual blood derived stem cells. Or a novel source of, uh, is that mesochymal? Mesochymal? Stem cells because the, uh, I don't know, menses or whatever the fuck it is, whatever she's abbreviating there, are much more prolific uh, than bone marrow cells with a 100,000 times rate higher factor of growth, presumably due to the fact that it was only tissue in the body that regenerates every month. Bone marrow stem cells have the potential to form 4% of cardiac stem cells. She, she's a scientist. Blood. This woman, I promise you, has no fucking idea what she's saying right here. <laughs> she also doesn't understand what stem cells are and how they react. You can't just smear them on your fucking face. Is it her okay? own period? Yes. No, she, you can't buy periods online. I've tried. This no, but, but, but is if fucking it's your wild, buddy. man. Yes, dude. But, but if it's your buddy. Can you ask them for their period blood because it's moon time? Her skin looks great. I'm going to be honest. I mean, her eyes are nice. If you're a bro yes, out there, I, I was a fan of the way that she has, down. you know, one, down through the rest one of her brown Instagram. eye, one hot bob, blue eye. Uh, keep going. I, we can't show that one, but uh, yeah, you pull up the one with the eyes. So she talked about it on the show. Up, uh, up, 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 left, up. up there, there it is, right there. It is. Yeah. Yeah. One blue, one green. And uh, yeah, she was Pure. on the show. It was a, it was an interesting show. It was a super fucking late. We were rocked. Yeah, that night. Yeah, we were we were. There. I don't think she was pleased with any of our bullshit. No, no. A lot of people on that trip weren't. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of it was kind of a letdown. Remember, <laughs> Donnie showed up super high. Oh God, Donnie O'Malley. Is that That's the one he was kissing dudes in the that, kitchen? Is that the, the one where Georgie got so drunk she just got pissed? And yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She called a fucking Uber in the middle of the show, and no, then she just was walked out. She was high too. Yeah, yeah. Remember, she got scared. She didn't know what to do. <laughs> that was a wild trip. Yeah, but yeah if, funny. if you follow at Crotchy, she's. I, I think she's an interesting person. So I'm not going to. Oh, say dude. Anything. So she animates like some really, really crazy shit. Like she's in yes. animation. Yeah, I. I think her account is fucking cool, man. Um, but uh, yeah, the period blood was a little much. But I, I don't know if it was a joke or not. It appears to be real. And uh, that's wow. period blood. Yeah, go to go to Jared's single. Look at that's that. That's my uh, white first. Russian. That's my first white Russian right there. Is it really in your life? Yeah. How would you think? It's far out, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, me, and my buddy from college drank uh, white Russians and played Keno one night to see if we could actually get fucked up off of white Russians. The answer is no, by the way. You can't get fucked off? No. Maybe off of these. These, yeah. are, these, are, these fucking are really 90% strong. vodka. Yeah. Hot Bob, you made these. What, what what goes in a white Russian, by the way? It's just vodka, Kahlua, or I guess Bailey's if you want to use that, and then um, a splash of heavy cream. Like heavy, heavy, like baking, whipping cream. Oh, oh wow. You know what? I actually kind of taste that sweetness in there, and I like it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't generally don't like I gave sweets. you a little extra because I poured the vodka heavy, so I wanted to. Ah, thanks. Just you know what I could out. use right now is a fucking steak. I want a steak right now. Oh, dude, are we getting steaks tonight? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Uh, We're going to go to a steakhouse later. Yeah. You're not invited. 
Wish we would have had some steaks while I was in the war. <laughs> well, well, there we Fair go. It's now. never yeah. too late. Here it is. It's never too late. So you're always going back to the goddamn war yeah, with you, Walter. It's, it's never too late, man. It's always the fucking war with you, Walter. Never too late to get a mistake. Everything's so. a fucking travesty with you. Yes. Yeah. Take him to get a steak tonight. Oh, We're can't at. you just relax, you man? You guys want a sizzler? Um, yeah, I don't think sizzler exists. Is that still a thing? Is it? No. Fucking and if it, I think they filed if for it, chapter eleven. I think if it right. did exist, I, right. I sure shit wouldn't be going there. This is goddamn. Stony Texas. didn't mean it, man. He didn't mean it. There was a drive-through hibachi in Wilmington. A drive-through hibachi. That's yeah. stupid. Yeah. Uh, what, it, did no, they just like it was play a great. bunch of ting ting fucking noises as you drive through? No hibachi. You can get hibachi steak, chicken, and all that shit. Yeah, so, it's not it hibachi great... unless it's made on the goddamn device. Do we have a? We do we have a sizzler here in the state of Texas that's still open? I think I found one in uh, the suburbs of Houston. Yes, that's not far at all. Three yeah, hours. That's not happening. Yeah, no, it is. They get takeout. Uh, you can't dine Good, in. Good man. You know, now that I've been flying. Yeah, are you flying now? I'm flying now. How many hours? Uh, you know, a few. What are we talking? 30, 40? No, I just hours? started. Oh, you just started? Like, I just started recording. Obviously, I've been flying for a while. Right, 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 right. But I, I actually took the actual school. What's the, what's the end game with that? You want to fly helicopters? I'm going to fly everything. Yeah? Jets. I'm going for my instrument rating, dual engine. Really? Jet. Yeah. You, you didn't tell I'm the gonna, insurance lady I'm, before I'm the uh, last time. Just, just be quiet about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. <laughs> like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get certified in like a citation and a fucking Gulfstream and everything. That way, anytime you guys want to go somewhere, you'd be like, hey, take us. It'd be fucking great. Yeah, because you don't have to worry about no pilots. No, no. I'm just in the back drinking with you guys. You're like, wait, what the fuck? Oh, whoops. <laughs> Is Pilot X still flying, by the way? Oh, yeah. 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 That, that dude ain't never, that dude ain't never <laughs> stopping flying. Well, he I, flies private, right? Yeah. yeah, I mean he's the private pilot. He's the private pilot. So. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, I don't. I don't think we should do any of this. Why? Why? I think it's all in the. Up You're a up. lot more valuable drunken on drugs than you are flying a fucking airplane. No, I'm really good at flying an airplane. Yeah, but we can hire somebody to do that. Yeah, but you know, for less money than we can create by just working together and doing. I'm our just own shit. saying, like, if you have someone that's got the plane and the know-how, it's like, why not just let me do it? No. That's yeah, not, that's I, not your core competency. We can pay somebody less money than what your time is worth to do that. Yeah, we don't end up like Kobe. No, you uh, wouldn't. Right, because you know what? I wouldn't. I wouldn't let you fly, no matter how much you bitched at me. I wouldn't have let you fly that day. No, you can't. Oh, for uh, yeah. no, no, dude, no, the no, weather no. was terrible. Yeah, it like was. there is no way that they that they should have been flying. No, that's the that's that's the most valuable lesson I learned from Pilot X. Have we talked about this on the show? You know, we reached out to our buddy at the L.A. County Sheriff's Department. I know who you're That's talking it. about. Yeah. Yeah. So I, re I reached out to him and said, hey, man, did you go up? What's the fucking story? He said everybody real? was shut down that day. Yeah. Yes. And he said, no, none like, of us flew, man. Everybody um, was shut down. And he goes, down, yeah. the entire, all of us. We, we, he's a helicopter pilot for the L.A. County there, Sheriff's Department. And he goes, we were shut down. We could not fly that morning. There and are he VFR goes, minimums for a reason. <laughs> yeah. Because I, I kept getting messages um, that he was dead. And I was like, there's no fucking way. And TMZ was the only spot. You remember that? TMZ was the only person that verified that for like three hours. And everybody was like, this has got to be a fake story. They got hacked. So I, I hit my buddy up and I go, hey, man, is this real? And he goes, yeah, it's real. And I go, were you flying today? And he goes, no, I wasn't fucking flying. Um, and yeah, he goes, no one in their fucking, no, no one, no real pilot that respects themselves is going to fucking fly. So let me ask like, you. So that, so. Yes, I want to ask you, you this. I, who who made have, the final call on that, I, The pilot I'd or Kobe? To, the, the pilot did. Like the pilot he, always he, has a final call. Well, yeah, he essentially, I mean, I, I obviously don't really know. I think you can pull up the accident report and it'll tell you what, mm -hmm. who, who said what. But from what I remember and what I heard is that pilot was way more over. He was selling it. It's no, nah, no, nah, it's fine. I got this. It's fine. I got really? This. Yeah. And supposedly, like, there's a few things that came up that he was already being investigated for some, you know, taking too much risk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What uh, do you What are you finding over there? What do you got? That N N NTSB report for Kobe. The NTSB. You have. Oh, the have, text messages. You have really? ten days. Yeah. Who the fuck says copter? Copter. Why would that be the way they abbreviate that? I, don't know. I think it's 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 heli, right? Or no. helo? Helo. Helo, yeah. Or bird yeah. or something, but not copter. Chopper maybe, but Chopper? Definitely not copter. Yeah. I think copter is a classification of like an a, official helicopter. Okay. Yeah. Is that okay. real? Or you just uh, make that up? Probably not. Probably not. No. Uh, we get some sponsors who pay for the show to be on the air. Merry Christmas, Ghostbed. Uh, you're a wonderful company. 
a wonderful mattress company. Uh, you keep us safe at night. You keep us warm. Ghostbed.com forward slash drinking. I'm bros. fucking on a glow bed. I know. We all love it. We all actually. Like, I have ghost beds in every bed. In you my made house. a great mm. commercial yeah. this year for Thank them. You. They were super Thank stoked you. about it. And, I can uh, do another one next year. They as well. sent you and your lady a bed. Yeah, and, and then uh, I sent them back some photos. They use those on the side. Yes. Oh, they the the ones you sent me or the other photos? No, 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 the other ones. Oh yeah, yeah. don't yeah. use those on. Doesn't the like side. a hot girl on the bed. Yeah, they don't need a guy oiled up on. No, the bed. no, no. It was pet photos he sent me privately. Oh no shit. Yeah, nudes. Look at that. Yeah, airspace violation. Yeah, we didn't have minimums. Yeah. Yeah. I that yeah, this was an easy one. I, it's, I made that call that afternoon. I was just like, yeah. oh, motherfucker. The only thing I wonder though is if the dialogue in the plane were were if the pilot looked back at Kobe and said, Hey man, it's foggy, should we go up? If Kobe said, Let's fucking do it. I've flown with you a million times. And I don't know if we'll ever have that answer. Who knows? Or if the pilot just got bravado and just said, man, um, I've got Kobe on the plane. Like, I can't let him down. He fucking never let us. No, that happens a up. lot, by I the know. way. That's in the course. I know. Is, uh, they talk about if you are, if your goal is to be a private pilot for a celebrity or, or rich people and stuff like that about the pressure that they that they put on you, that you're, you know, it's, it's strict in there. You're not going to violate your minimums. That, I'm not affected by celebrity deaths. This year, this was one of the only ones that I was just like, fuck, man. We both got to L.A. on the same time. I bought, I fucking bought a painting from this dude of, of Kobe that's in, actually in my office. I never fucking buy shit like that. But uh, this, there was a dude named uh, Julio Salazar. I'll give him a shout out. Uh, it, was, it was incredible. And a drinking bro had actually tagged me in it and said, hey, man, I know you're a Kobe fan. Look what this guy just did. And I reached out to him online and it was still available. And I was like, shit, I fucking loved Kobe Bryant. He was my favorite. Uh, ever like my favorite basketball player of all time, eh? Sentimental one. I Christmas. don't even think I could name a single basketball player. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you, actually. Uh, Dennis Rodman. Yeah, there you go. Okay, all there, right. you go. there you go. There you go. Uh, we were talking about Ghostbed. Ghostbed .com forward slash drinking bros. Thirty percent off for everybody. Members of uh, the military, first responders, teachers. You work in the government. Uh, you can get a ghost bed in this life. Go to ghostbed .com forward slash drinking bros today. Uh, where, as always, they have a 36-month page-to-go program. No interest at ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. And, uh, you know, you can couple that together with all of the fucking deals and enjoy yourself. Also, if you're just a regular civilian like myself, you can just type in the promo code drinking bros when you check out. And then I'll give you 30% off. Wink. What about Black Rifle? What do you got, Jared? Oh, man. Drinking bros 10 or drinking 20. Bros 20? Lord Hot Dog. All the above. The club is, is, is just freaking screaming it's it's just the best it's ever been i mean we've got some you guys have ugly christmas sweaters for sale yeah so there's there's and, and then now like there's there's certain products that are being offered to only club members yeah so we're doing like some real fun stuff evan's got some really cool shit coming out in the ecs that's coming up that you definitely really want to check out that that exclusive coffee subscription is is where it's at fuck yeah it is there is some funny stuff coming and uh i'm sure by now you guys have all seen our uh, Bass Pro commercial came mm. out today. Oh, I actually have not. Super, no, we you were, have not. Seen no, it. we were here yeah. doing paperwork yeah. and all that bullshit for insurance and everything. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. It came out today. That's fucking rad, man. Um, so we can watch it later. Let you guys. I saw it. you. I wanted to tell you. I saw you guys on the Monday Night Football game. What? Uh, what was it? You guys did ads on the Ravens Browns games. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've been doing some TV. That's that's mm. our goal next year. Is it local or was that no. national? No, we do national, national, national by. Oh, it was national. Yeah. Holy shit! That was a, that was a big game. So next year, though, twenty twenty one, we are going to become the masters of the thirty second. Okay. So uh, commercials on TV. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I saw that during the Browns uh, Ravens game and. I saw two ads and it was fucking awesome. And congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, some big boy shit, dude. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Big boy shit. Dude. I like it. Uh, I like it. What was your favorite memory of 2020, Dan? My favorite memory of 2020? Yeah. This is uh, it. I mean, I don't know. This is the last show of the year. 2020 was, uh, by and large, a, a pretty shitty year for everybody. So I guess all of it. Yeah. Well, did it, but did your life change for real? Uh, not really. Just dealt with some, uh, you know, it's, it's, life is cyclical, you know, as we all know. Uh, life, life is a highway. That's you, what Tommy it's, ba said. it's balancing. Yeah. Yeah. You deal where you where you get nice stuff in your professional, right. your 
personal life suffers. Right. And when you're versa, doing, yeah. when you're doing great in your personal life, your professional life suffers. Yeah. And people by and large are pieces of shit. So, you know, whenever you meet a new person, go ahead and prepare yourself for that person to be a fucking absolute piece of shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah, I have, yeah. which is why it doesn't hit me that hard anymore. You find out that somebody's a total fucking piece of garbage and you're like, oh, all right, cool. Yeah. So uh, that, well, uh, I was expecting gonna, this. Yeah. What are you going to do? Well, yeah. And the answer to what am I going to do is, is mushrooms, obviously. So obviously, yeah. 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 Um, those have been pretty easy to come by here, by the way. Uh, anywhere. I'm surprised. I've never that. had any trouble getting them anywhere. Do you know how fucking hard it was in, back in the day? It was brutal. Mm. Yeah, to try to get mushrooms. And now that I've grown out of it, I can't fucking... You can't do mushrooms as a parent. That's fucking crazy. Not with that attitude. <laughs> Not with that attitude, that's for sure. <laughs> fucking loser. Um, well, you're scamming the Grinch costume with a fucking gun. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Yeah. Tell me I can't do something. I'll fucking burn this building down right now. Yeah, I bet you will. I bet you will. And my money's on you, actually. Yeah. Uh, on me? My money's on you. Yeah. For what? To burn this place down. If, oh, if, well, yeah, if it yeah, was going to yeah. be anybody here, it'd, be, yeah. it'd probably be damn. I mean, it won't even be for any reason. I won't be mad. I'll just be like, you know what? Fuck this building. Yeah. It's a light of match. I've actually got these little... Uh, those campfire things that are like magic fire starters. You just yeah. put it on your keychain. I hope you no one I mean? from the insurance company listens to the show. <laughs> <laughs> Prove well, it. We had to Prove get, it. It's a comedy show, bitch. Here's the thing. We had to get a million dollars worth of insurance on this fucking building. Like that was mandatory in Austin. When we moved here, it was like, they, why? I was like, this isn't worth a million dollars. And they were like, well, the building as a whole is. And I was just like, so if we burn this down, I guess we burn down the coffee shop below it. And they were like, fuck you guys, you got to do this. And I was just like, all right, cool. Uh, so we have a million dollars of insurance. So if, yeah, if you want to light it up, you can light it up. I'm sure you're fine with it. I don't think uh, insurance covers deliberate arson, Ross. No. I'm not sure what they fucking told you when you signed you that paperwork. You got to prove it. Uh, <laughs> Jack, you know a little bit about fire, don't you? Yeah. Jack? In the war, fire was an instrumental part of killing the enemy. What war? And I was in the Battle of Fabluja. Okay. Yeah, I don't. Was a big I, I just don't know if there were flamethrower operators in. I think there was. I think there was. I think Jack's uh, probably telling the Are truth. Are flamethrowers still one. legal? I have no is that, idea. Or is that a Geneva Convention kind of deal? Uh, no one knows. No one hey, knows. see if see if you can use those. Because look, look up Geneva Convention and then uh, put Geneva uh, Pornhub. Yeah, it's Geneva. it's spelled it's Geneva spelled uh, F. A, and that's not right. You know what? That would, that would be a great porn star name. Geneva. Geneva the, Convention. The Geneva Conventions. Yeah. It's, that would be a great The Geneva porn Conditions. Name. Yeah, yeah. After the first pun that you use in the first one, that would be over. No one would ever care about that again. As a matter of fact, they would avoid it actively. Uh, in, in 1978, the Defense Department issued a directive that ceased the tactical use of flamethrowers and their further development. Oh, wow. Hmm. That's a year before... Uh, the uh, age or the uh, the uh, unit that doesn't have a name was created. What's that by Charlie Beckwith? What? What's the unit? Doesn't, doesn't have a name. Look at okay. the fuck up, bitch. That's the name. Uh, look, Hot Bob. What's the unit that doesn't have a name? <laughs> I name my unit. <laughs> you know, Delta. Ah, yeah. <laughs> no, it's it's it actually says United Airlines. Right? United <laughs> Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> If Don't at, say the D word, God damn it! If you're at home with your family right now and you're just huddled around the TV watching this on YouTube, struggling to find warmth, and I don't mean the kind of warmth that keeps your bones warm. I mean the kind that keeps your soul warm. <laughs> I got to tell you, folks, it's in this cup right here. It's booze. Oh, yeah, oh, it Drugs is. and alcohol will save you. <laughs> people have told you your entire lives that this stuff will fuck you up. But look, you're looking at people that are highly successful right here. All of them. <laughs> On drugs and alcohol. Is all Jack, the time. though? Can you pan over to Jack? Is he. Oh, boy. Jack, are you leaking? Look at that bozo ring at the top, dude. That is a classic B ring up there on, on Jack's head. Uh, can you pull up Bozo the Clown uh, real quick and then just go a, a side by side? Are you, with Jack? Are you okay? able to put the picture of Bozo next to Jack? <laughs> <laughs> just as far as hair goes. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's what we call a classic bozo ring in the booth. Dude. 
<laughs> Look at the way it spurts out on the sides. Oh man, oh. that is solid. That That's is a solid. fucking sweet beer ring right there. Um, <laughs> big big fan of that. You know what I'm grateful for in 2020? What's that, buddy? What's that? Where in the war, my existence was violence. With my new girlfriend, my existence is peace. You know, and I've seen your new girlfriend. Uh, she is from the, the the land of peace, right? Is she from Sweden? They're holding like record breaking numbers on peace. Yeah, yeah, Sweden. They're, right? they're leading the league in peace right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We're yeah. we're back to back uh, we're, we're champs, right? That was your that was your shirt. I've got two. I've got <laughs> two twenty twenty moments. Mm. Go ahead, fire away. The first one is. My kids being in their own Brandon Rogers video. Yeah, that was good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Chicken, yeah. chicken. Uh, no, 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 no. Chain. The other one where Sam's baby. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So it was, yes, getting to see them in my own Sam video. That's like. That's amazing. You, you don't get that. You no. don't get stuff like that. You know, you become big fans of certain people or certain things. And yeah, like, there's a reason behind it. You know, right. Dan and I have watched Brandon's videos a thousand times yeah, a piece. For best, he's but best then, in the biz, yeah. But then to have him completely write and make one of his videos around my children. <laughs> and then and then Jack. Yeah. Like like he did Chicken King with Jack. Mm. Yeah, aside from being a warrior, I do acting too. Mm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, Jack. I know and that. Then, then the other, the other one is, you know, I finally found a meaningful relationship. How long is this going on? Four months. Yeah, is we're over. Really? We're over three now. We like Morgan, by the way. She's yeah, rad. Yeah, dude, everybody. everybody yeah, if if you it. fuck this up, how, has she met your parents? Yeah. yeah. I think I'm going to pay. I think my next they one, like, I'm going to pay more attention to what uh, everybody else says instead of what I'm thinking. Okay. Because every woman I date, everybody's like, man, this woman is a piece of shit. Right, right, right. Like every single one of them, I'm like, nah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> but it's because I'm fucking stupid, right? And uh, <laughs> also my level for crazy behavior, like my my, my threshold for that shit is so high because so I'm so fucked up myself. But I'm not. I'm a, I'm fucked up in a way that's fun and and I'm yeah. Not, I'm not gonna cause you ever problems in your real life ever. I will yeah. never do that. So I like fucked up shit. It, it's amusing to me, but I'm like, oh, that's fucked up. I like that. Yeah. And then it's like, wow, just fucking here. Let me take your shit and sell it or fucking whatever crazy <laughs> bullshit. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> fuck, man. Did somebody sell your shit? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. It's, it's the holiday season, brother. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about forgiving, Daniel. Yeah. No oh, I've, way is that true. Is that true? Forgiving. Anytime something like that happens, I'm like, oh, like uh, people get fucking freaked out and, 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 and butthurt and pissed off about it. And I'm like, oh, man, I just dodged a huge fucking bullet right there. Yeah. Like this person yeah. had five aces and accidentally dropped their shit on the table. I'm like, oh. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Fucking A. Always a winner, this guy. Yeah. Uh, I can see you with like a lawyer or somebody like that, though. Like, uh, that, that's, that's who I see you with in this life. Or Maybe, uh, yeah. the, uh, the, the person we were out with last night. I'm, I won't say who it is, but. Mm. Uh, Someone that's like a doctor. Very smart. Famous doctor. Yes. Yeah, but you, I mean, I'm a dirtbag, man. Smart people usually don't uh, want to associate with. With people like me, people so. that are—I am on drugs all the time. This is not a fucking ruse but or a nobody, game. It's not a character on the show. I am on <laughs> drugs all the time. It's true, but here's the thing: no one knows. No, they don't because I use them responsibly. Correct. But Dan, girls love a fixer-upper. I'm not a fixer-upper. I'm fucking. Dan, Dan's actually not a fixer-upper. I am. Yeah. Perfect. That's the fucked up thing. Yeah, that's dude. I, you are not you gonna know meet what? a more thoughtful, no, or generous like, person than me. Yes, that is has their shit together ever. But yeah. you know, it's that's how it is, right? I mean. It, it's wild to me though because like I have seen I, I I feel like I've seen it all. I've seen the hottest, most well put together girls, mm -hmm. and they get heavily involved with dudes that like on the first week of them dating like are getting their car repossessed and yeah. like yeah. and like are borrowing money from them and then like driving them into debt. Like like I've heard these stories where I'm just like what yeah. <laughs> like. <laughs> Hey, the heart and yet the heart yet, wants but, but what like it wants. But like he says, right? like some of these, some of these women, they're just like okay with that. Oh, it's just oh, he's he means well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he yeah. doesn't. It's like fuck he doesn't mean well. <laughs> yeah. He's a child. And if it's like it's if like, you had to fucking force some dude to fucking what buy his own car for the first time. 
or something I'm, like that. Or I'm never going to be a burden on somebody. Yeah, and that's my biggest there, fear yeah. is yeah, being that, a burden on someone. Same. And I think that's like, why Dan needs to be with a lawyer where it's just like, all right, great. She works fucking 12 hours I can't, a day. It can't be. It can't, I, it I, don't, I don't think it can be an attorney. It's too easy for her to be associated with me and get disbarred. To be, I'm, not, I'm not even kidding about that. Why? Why? Yeah. If we get pulled over and I've got fucking guns and drugs on me, which I always do. Right. Right. <laughs> and she's in the car. It's just like, oh. and if she's driving and I'm in the car in the car with all that stuff and that could reflect negatively on a, an attorney. Right. But is it a little Wayne's type sitch where it's just like, hey, man, I'm going to take this bid or. Well, we could get work? Corey and Trevor to follow us around and be and be jail cover. But I, yeah, we, are we why? Why haven't we had Corey? We Corey needed, and Trevor. No, I don't want we, we need them to do work. We need two fucking losers that are willing to take the heat for us. <laughs> I, need to, I need to be able to pay some guy <laughs> to take like, the bid. I don't know, like fifteen hundred bucks a month. Yeah. And he gets all the drugs he wants. But he has to carry all of my shit all the time. What is that guy called, Hot Bob? There's got to be a name for that I mean, it's, job it's just like a body life. man, basically. No. In it's, a mule, it's a mule, isn't it? Is it a... Yeah, but they're like right there I think right the technical term me. is agent. Hang on. Agent. I, they're right there with me all the time. God, Giorgio, why do you know He needs vodka. An Giorgio, Giorgio is a professional dirtbag. Yes. Yeah, he is. Yes, 100%. Like, like yeah, I is. honestly think we need to create that position, professional dirtbag, on the site. To be honest, though, if I fucking murdered somebody... He'd be the first person I'd go to. Be like, "Hey, man, how do I get out of here?" And he wouldn't. You'd never say a fucking word to anybody. No, you'd be like, "All right, man, you got to get the fuck out of here." And that's that. And blah blah blah. I'll burn your shit. I won't tell anybody I know you. I don't even know if you like. I don't even know what your real name is. Like, if it, I, it wouldn't surprise me if it came back and it was just like, "Hey, man, he was lying the entire time about his name and existence and all that shit." Why do you think I want to be paid in cash? <laughs> <laughs> Chill out, Nick. <laughs> We're me and Dan are ten ninety nines because Giorgio wants to live off the grid. Mm. I understand why though. <laughs> well, here's the thing about a ten ninety nine. When you're in entertainment like this, you can literally write off everything. So like, you're you want the government taking that bullshit or do you want to keep it? Like, yeah. Do I you not have? Did it. you you not have a good accountant that told you that? You incorporate a, a quick production LLC Movies. and open up a Tickets. movie every, every year. Like, yes, because when you're when you're open in a movie production, everything from clothes to furniture to food and everything, everything is right off. Yeah. It's yes. not itemized anymore. Yes. Yeah. It's not itemized uh, uh, for years and we, years and years. We need to have class with you guys. Yeah. Can you, <laughs> Hey, can you paint over to Jack real quick? I want to see what Jack's all about. Uh, <laughs> Jack is in his second trimester. <laughs> is he crowning? Oh, man. are you crowning? It's glandular. I'm getting 20% from the VA ah. from the war. What do you get 20% from the VA? What is that? Like how much that? money? Yeah. I don't know. Look it up. Hang on. Um, that's really nice though. We go, can we go full expose on this, please? Just uh, uh, Jack, take the handoff, please. Or, just, uh, or the other one. 20% is uh, <laughs> $285 a month. There it is. $285 a month. So what do you, uh, that's basically just your cigarettes, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's pretty much all it is. What's a pack of cigarettes cost in Texas right now? Jack, you still smoke about what one to two packs a day? It's seven eighty seven at Valero. <laughs> so that's thirty five packs of cigarettes a day. If you're smoking a pack and some change a day, that's about right. Two hundred eighty five bucks. The VA is subsidizing <laughs> your cancer, basically. It's a vicious cycle, Dan. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm dead serious when I say this. Yeah, yeah. You well, have to, you have to say it when you're serious. When you look like this, by the way. Or, I mean, I guess I'm wearing a onesie. What am yeah. I talking about? So, so in a Grinch costume. I, I seriously think this next year we should do our specials, and they are they are funerals, but they're roasts. So we had talked about, you know, I'm down. Charlie Classic has to lay in the casket yeah. and we all get up and give a eulogy at Charlie, a funeral home. Charlie looks like one of the fucking de-evolved creatures from the Super Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> the fucking yes. Goombas? Yeah, the Goombas. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Fucking. But if we were to do like Jack's funeral, you know, Jack has to lay in an open casket and all of us get up and give our give our eulogies. <laughs> What's the, what's yeah, the yeah. person that you Charlie, just brought up Look there. up Charlie Classic's fucking face Is that <laughs> on Instagram. Just go to Instagram and put that? in Charlie Classic. Who did the fucking lizard face? No, that's from the Super that's Mario Bros. That's the Goomba. That's what he just it's, said. Charlie Classic, It's though. John Leguizamo and somebody else. I don't remember who else is 
<laughs> but find a picture of Charlie like s- smiling or making a fit. There is. There one right is. There. Yeah. He's the fucking. Well, no, and the one in the top right there where he's with the girl. Look at his face, yeah. and then put it next to that other fucking picture. Put it up on the oh, screen. Oh God. Yeah. Put the and put the Goomba up next there. There you go. Whoop, whoop, ah, whoop, whoop, bring it on whoop. back. Bring it on back. Who's that? Who's that girl? Is that his girlfriend? <laughs> no, it's just random. Yeah. yeah, that's Kimber Woods, the adult film star. Is it really? You big fan, Jack? Used to be. Before the war. Yeah. Yeah, you bet. Uh, there it is. Uh, put his face next to hers, and let's really peek her on out there. Oh, no. See what I'm saying? I mean, it's so close. Shit. <laughs> Has anybody ever made that association before? No, no. I just did it now. Wow. But I was just thinking of what I would be doing if I was roasting Charlie Classic right now, and it's the first thing, first thing that popped in my head. That's high moments. So that, that chick's a porn star. He's got baby well, legs she tied wa- around she his head. Before the war, she was. Yeah, before the war, she was. We don't know what she's doing now. Is he do you have a girlfriend in real life, Jared? Not anymore. I don't think. <laughs> uh, unless, I don't he's know. Got a, unless he's got a new one. Because I yeah. mean, I don't know. I the don't, women I, that are on his Instagram, I'm just like, dude, why do you have a girl? Like, just keep fucking these girls. Who cares? Kimber Woods official. Wow. Okay. So she's a point. Wait, star. those are three different women. Yeah, it looks like three different women. Oh, well, unless she's got a wig on. Yeah. That wig is confusing. Yeah, it is. Oh, there's a there's a normal one of her. What is that? Uh, where she's got the Dagobah system on her chest. Yeah. Uh no, it's a fan. It's a fan of some sort. All right. Uh, I understand it. I understand it. Uh, Jack, you a big porn guy? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if I figured you were. Figured you were a guy like you who looks like that. It's got to be big, big, big. Not it's anymore because I have a girlfriend. Ah, that's right. That's right. You're dating a Swedish girl now. No. And uh, it seems pretty real. You think she'll watch this show? By the way. You know, Ross. To be honest with you, I really hope not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want her to know this part of me. She knows that I do like writing, and I hang out with Jared every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you broke 55 minutes into a show. <laughs> <laughs> you went a full 55 minutes into a podcast without breaking character. And then all of a sudden you were like, well, time to be I got to pre- so. I got to protect the integrity of my lady, you know? Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Obviously. Because th- th- you're not the person we're seeing here today, right? Uh, no, for the most part, no. <laughs> yeah. For the most part, no. No, yeah. <laughs> Just when I'm with you, my friends, uh, and when I'm with alone with my dog, uh, and when I'm working alone, uh, just not with my girlfriend. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Obviously. What Obviously. are we talking about? Uh, Jack's girlfriend. He, he. Jack finally broke character after 55 minutes. So he's, what's this? He's being professional. Yeah. He's back now. He's yeah. back now. Back. He has to maintain a good image if he wants to maintain his status with Delta Airlines. Which oh, is, I was gold at one point. Yeah, Jack yeah. was gold. Yeah. Rob O'Neill, get, Rob O'Neill got banned though. Yeah, he was did. platinum. Get yeah. yeah, banned. Platinum yeah. and banned, and then he uh, was on Southwest Air the other yeah. day. Yeah, <laughs> great flight on Southwest. Thanks everybody. And it was just like that's what happens, you know. I mean, South- even the guy who killed Osama bin Laden is uh, is now relegated to Southwest. He's got banned by uh, at least Delta it wasn't Spirit. Spirit had a a plane like spent off the runway yesterday. I so. like Spirit. Ooh. Was it here? Was it here? Oh, I don't know. Shit. If but you, it was in the Northeast. I think it was, was, I think it was you, icy. Spirit Airlines. Respect that, your life. Yeah, you will not, not yeah. get on an aircraft. No, their pilots seemed like 400 hours. From yeah. Spirit? Yeah. 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 And any other major airline is no, like 1,600. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It's like four your, your Your barrier to entry to be a pilot with any of the major airlines is heavy hours. Yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. you're in better hands. No, I, I understand all that. I understand all that, but uh, Spirit is it was the only direct flight to LA. We ended up taking it, and I enjoyed it. I enjoyed Spirit, uh, ironically. You know, I, American Airlines is the one that's a real motherfucker to me. I uh, I made a very high stakes Super Bowl bet yesterday. With who? Angry Cops. No shit. Yeah. What's the story there? Okay, so you're talking if, about Richard. If Hyde? I win, yeah. If yeah. I win, he has to join the Air Force. Whoa, that is a big, big bet. How old is he? Seventy. Thirty. You, so you still do a thirty, right? No, he's just going to branch transfer from the air, the army guard. But he gets he to keep his rank and all that. Yeah, okay. yeah. He's nice. an E seven though, isn't he? He's E six. Oh. He can he, oh, yeah. he'll cross right. right over. It's fine. If he wins, I have to run a marathon. And him and Matt, I feel like his stakes are a lot bigger than yours. Uh, no, 
he there's no he's Richard's not gonna die in the Air Force. <laughs> 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 this motherfucker tries to run a marathon. That's it. It's yeah. like it could be it could be that you remember that Run Fat Boy Run movie, the yes. British movie back mm-hmm. in the day. We could just do a documentary. Well, no. So so their plan is him and Matt are going to be. They're going to hire someone to to pedal them in a trike right next to me through the entire marathon. <laughs> get a get a rickshaw guy. I, I think this: if you're going to do a marathon, Kramer. do it where you haven't trained nothing, and then you have to show up and do it. I know one person who did that. It was actually a girl who did it. There's no that. way, though. Your his body will cramp up and shit. You can't do that. Uh, well, There's no way. He, I think. That's the bet, though. Or, or you have to win a marathon, and cheating is allowed. No, that's not, a not better win. bet to me. <laughs> not win, just complete it. Because, like, I, I asked, have you guys ever done one where it was just like, hey, just show up and do it? No, no one should ever run Giorgio anywhere did. ever. Why what the fuck your, would you run? What was your time, Giorgio? Oh uh, well, I personally didn't show up and just do it, but one of my coaches did, and then he did it in three fifteen, and then laughed at us. And uh, three yeah. hours and fifteen minutes. Yeah, yeah, Holy it was pretty shit. insane. Yeah, yeah. Um, so the the I mean, friend, those aren't Kenyan numbers, but it's okay. No, no, but for like a, yeah. for a man off the street, just to like yeah. laugh at you, yeah, that's pretty. It's pretty good. My, uh, yeah, it was it was an agent of mine actually who did it, and that was their dream, like their bucket list item. But they didn't train, and they were just like, "Fuck, I'm I'm starting to get too old. If I don't do this, I'll never do it." So they did, and it was it wasn't terrible. It was like five hours or whatever it was. But she did not move for like two weeks. Like it was the most brutal pain. Of her oh, life. if you're not an athlete or used to any kind of heavy training, your body is destroyed. Yeah, mm-hmm. I hear from marathon runners that even people who train yep. after 20 miles, your body is already breaking down. Correct. Nope. You still Nobody. got six miles. To so go. that, that's why that should be the bet. So no, Jerry's no. just got to show up to the marathon and complete it, uh, no matter what, no, what time you're. No, in. no one runs a full marathon to train for a marathon. Right. Yeah, you run what is that. Yeah, oh, the, run like the, the, the last is 23 miles. That's the last workout they gave. Would you look up Correct. the online workouts? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you don't ever run 26.2 miles. You start with like six and then 12 and then 23 is like the last one. And, but if, and you whatever, run, uh, if you can run 10 miles, I think you can just run indefinitely until your body gives out. So it's more about giving your body the right fuel and shit it needs to make shit. that shit. So I think that should be the bet. I mean, you've you just run just 10 miles and do it. Yeah, you just show up and do it and just complete it. Uh, Nobody cares about your time. I want I, you to do I, it no in a wheel. I want you to do it in a, in a wheelchair. Wheeling the oh, entire no, time. Oh no, dude! You can't. That's, you, oh, you know what I've always that'd be wanted way to funnier. do. And I would go. I would. I would be behind him, yelling wheelchair all the wheelchair. Like You're the not doing time. a marathon. You know what dude. I've always wanted to do is show up to a 5K in a wheelchair, and I got like all the veteran shit on the mm. back and everything like that. <laughs> and like and I get com- up and run. I'm, I come in dead last, but like everyone's waiting for the the disabled veteran. They're clapping. Oh my god! Thank you for persevering. And then as soon as you cross that uh, finish line, just stand up and walk off. <laughs> Smoke a cigarette on the way out. Yeah, <laughs> that's we can we can make that happen. I'll I'll organize a five k just so we can do this. Oh guy. my god! <laughs> Not even Actually, I, you know, I, I, and I look because I, I look like you know Lieutenant Dan. You like, do, yeah. like you could what? start advertising in Austin that this it's Jack's dream to to do a five k. That's the shit. And Jack's dream. Jack's and dream. Jack so you have all these people from Austin that show up for this. <laughs> all the me like and well they, meaning and they encourage you the whole time. They're like running in pace with you to make yeah. sure you make it, and you just get up and walk away. And I just got this boyish smile on my face the whole time. <laughs> I don't know if I would call that a boyish smile. I, I would, would. I would call that the thing of nightmares. I would. What <laughs> I just saw. Right there. That was yeah, horrible. I, and like I'm incontinent. Like I'm, I'm pissing myself the whole way. Yeah, you're diaped up. I'm sure. really in character. Yeah. And we have. And uh, then you cross that finish line and just get up and start smoking. You're and like, walk th- up, thanks everybody. And walk and up just walk into up. the arms of my hot Swedish girlfriend. <laughs> She's clapping. I don't see why we can't make this happen. I mean, we absolutely could. If Jack can, stream the 5K. If, if we like can, like we can, this, but this right here, and listen, <laughs> listen, this could be the way for Drinking Bros Austin to troll, like for a the massive state, group really, of yeah. people yeah. to troll another massive group. Because if we're all in on it yeah. and we just continue to cheer as yeah. Jack just gets and we'll up, have Jack stream. We'll, yeah. have dro- Jack we'll, stream. we'll have drones and cameras and in placed cameras so all over the place. So it's going to confuse a lot of people when like 
no one's and no we'll, one's affected by him we'll, just getting up and, and we'll make a documentary out of the whole thing <laughs> yes <laughs> and we, we hire like a black gospel singer that just says <laughs> this is jack stream and then it's, so you're on the documentary right now basically <laughs> yeah yeah right yeah this and is this, the first part of the documentary. Dude, we should pitch it to netflix yeah, yeah we'll make stand it up, first. stand up and show the audience we can make this here. for like fucking twenty thousand. stand up and man. show the audience some your, people your say i have my mother's hips but i think i'm i'm rocking more aunt aunt uh aunt laura here Oh, look at that. Is that a side view? Yeah. There it is. There. Drink yeah. that in out there. Uh, ladies, he's taken. So yeah. don't. Uh, look, I got that. that V thing going on right there. Oh, yeah. dang. Yeah. That's very nice. Very nice. That's not really what. What's they, your what's they your Instagram? mean when they say V shaped body? No, they definitely do. What's yeah, your that's Instagram a wide username? hole over there. It's, is it at Jack Mandeville? Yeah, it's J A C K M A N D A V I L L E. Yep. Don't uh, slide into those DMs, ladies. Mm -hmm. he's no, I'm taken. He's, He's full board. Also, I don't know how to communicate with women online. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and you're also legally not allowed to. So <laughs> I think we should point that out uh, by law in the state of Texas. You're not allowed to communicate with women online. <laughs> point in the show, we get to the drinking bro of the week. Uh, <laughs> thank God they're going to be on this one. They're going to be amped about this, aren't they? Hey, this, wh whomever it is, if it's you talking about uh, your, your parents or your dead buddy, you're going to be on a documentary because we're, <laughs> we're definitely going to make this happen. This is Jack Stream. <laughs> um, James Wade from Texas. He's been a member of Drinking Bros for two years. He's nominating Cody Rogers. Reason for the nomination uh, for being the best human tunnel buddy in the world what aka we bang the same chick within the same 12 hours oh i like that tunnel buddy tunnel that's buddy. a new tunnel one buddy. i've never heard that you i nominated cody so i could remind him of the time the chick we shared said my dick was bigger <laughs> love you big brother all the way from texas oh Cheers. it's his big brother <laughs> Oh, that is priceless. <laughs> oh. What's his name again? Because I feel yeah, like... Yeah. Yeah, what are their names James again? James Wade from Texas. He's yes, and James, Cody Rogers. James Wade is the guy that submitted? Yes. So I think he's the real Drinking Bro of the Week. Well, right? he's nominated Cody Rogers. Know, but fuck, yeah, but fuck <laughs> Cody Rogers hey, and make his tiny sure, little dick, okay? Make sure we get both their names in the description so this pulls up on SEO when anybody searches these two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. James Wade and Cody Rogers are spelled exactly like you. Think. Well, Rogers is, is like Kenny. Yeah, well, like 50% of the dudes in West Texas are named Cody Rogers. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I, by the way, I was the reason I gave you that look was R.I.P. R.I.P. Huh? Kenny Rogers. I forget that happened this year, too. Kobe and Kenny, man. The 2K is really fucking Wait, nu nuked my whole shit. Hey, baseball player? Uh, Kenny Rogers? He was the greatest fucking <laughs> booster oh. of all time. The chicken guy. He was what? He's yeah. known for having fried he was chicken. A gambler. He's a gambler. Oh, thought, the gambler, thought, brother. I was thinking Kenny You got Powers. to know when, when to hold him. him. No end to fold him. And then the rest no of the song is about the Holocaust, way. I believe, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Yeah, it is. He goes <laughs> off into these weird tangents at verses two and three about the Holocaust. Like, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? This is about playing cards on a fucking boat somewhere. Yeah, dude. We're not and now all of a sudden you're talking dude, about... Dude, I've never been on a gambling riverboat. Really? Can we go? Yes. I don't uh, know if they're this, open right uh, now. Why don't we take an Amtrak to a bunch Jared. of Louisiana? Oh, Biloxi, Mississippi. Yeah, we, we're taking him now. Biloxi. Okay. Hey, yeah. I'm Will not you, going to. Oh, you'd be fine. Listen. listen tonight, yes. So we're going we're, with you we're, no. we're gonna take a train from Austin to L.A. Oh uh, uh, yeah. Well, let's. Los if we can, Angeles? if we can do acid or mushrooms the whole time, I'll do it. Yes. Otherwise, we found our own. We found our own. Trust me, I rode the Amtrak a lot. There's no security on those things. Oh, I don't care about security. I'm saying you two have to be willing to be high on drugs with me. No, we found our own. We're gonna have our own sleeper car. Ah, that's fine say. too. But you have to, you know, I, I just want to be on drugs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter what we're doing. <laughs> Honestly, when, my, when, when are you hoping to get him on that train? Soon. Yeah, Very fine. soon. I mean, this is something Jack and I came we're up with we for like a year now. We were yeah. talking about you have to be continuously drunk for 30, because it's a 31 hour trip. Yeah. All right. So the first hour you have to get drunk and then you have to stay drunk for 30 hours. Yeah. Oh. Drunk. Oh, yeah. 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 You're. Yeah. Maybe. I mean, I'm so in order to stay awake, we'll need some cocaine. Cocaine, yeah. 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 Well, I mean, if we do it over New Year's, that falls into oh, the window, right? I know we're coming up on we're yeah. coming up in the on the, in the window. That's right. Yeah. Do you guys still have the the cocaine New Year's pact? He does. Oh yeah, that's, that's his that's every my year. Role. Yeah, but every time, anytime I'm around him on New Year's, we do. So cocaine. what are you doing with your lady for New Year's? You guys doing coke? Yeah. Jack, does, does she know uh, about this? Mine's yet? a sweet princess, so I'll probably refrain while I'm around her. Oh, she's so not going to do it this year. Well, no, while uh, not when I'm with her. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, before you pick her up. 
Yes, in my Nissan Murano. Got it. Got that it. hasn't worked in it's, a year. But it's paid off, though. So it's yeah. like. It's, it's paid off. You know so, I mean? yeah, I'm a what big boy. Do? Yeah. <sighs> Is you guys drive that here? No. No. No, no. they're in Jared's uh, Black Rifle Jeep. Smart. Smart. Yeah. Uh, it's probably smart of you guys if you didn't watch this show today. Well, you're going to be on a documentary if you did, though. Yeah. Right? You, I'm not kidding about doc, this. Is it a rock? We're definitely, is we're, docu- yeah, Jack we're definitely Stream. doing this. Jack Stream. Jack, Jack Stream is happening. This is Jack Stream. We started advertising just, I, it. I'm like, I'm like Terry Schiavo the yeah. whole way. And we're, like, let's, oh, and we're gonna, Shivo. we're gonna, Shivo, huh? we're gonna make a logo. Let's run Jack Stream ads on local yeah. radio here in Austin. Oh, yeah. Hey, if you're not doing anything this weekend, we'll come bu- on down to the Jack Stream 5K. Yeah. That one time where Jack has had a dream to run a 5K, but he'll be in a wheelchair. We'll get, uh, we'll get billboards made. Yeah. Jack Stream. Right? Jack, Jack Stream. Stream. Um, since we're, we're going here, <laughs> help we've a gone here the veteran. entire episode. Can you pull up a picture for Terry Shivo so the audience Oh, knows? so Jared and I used to own a website called dotheshivo.com. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what we did was we would get really fucked up at night. Holy shit, I didn't know she was, like, gorgeous. She was high, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, oh, we, no. That, the one on the top there. No, no. That's yeah, it. That's yeah, it, yeah. That's yeah. it. That's that's it. it. That's Red shirt. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go hey, full yeah. Shivo in that race. Yeah, so basically what we did was uh, we found pictures of celebrities on the internet that looked like making stupid faces and we made a whole board of pictures of people that look like Terry Schiavo, the Pope. Was Boy, one you guys are going to, to hell. Well, there's no it's such thing. It was, was like so. 14 years ago. Yeah. The, we already the, paid fucking restitution or something for that. Probably. Here's the thing. We gave a, a 150 plus kids gifts. Christmas. If I can't make fun of people and then buy back my fucking soul with 150 kids getting Christmas gifts, yeah. I feel like uh, there's no justice in this world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's not like I peed. Talk on- is cheap, bro. You did you did what you had. You, you- I didn't pee on anybody. Yeah. yeah. I didn't, I didn't yeah. fucking ask a stripper to dump out on me. Like, Honestly, it doesn't OBJ matter what you did. say. The fact is you gave 150 children gifts for Christmas. They yeah. can't take away what you physically No, that doesn't provided. mean that doesn't mean shit according no. to YouTube comments. Oh, no. Well, that doesn't mean shit. No, I mean, look, everybody knows that Kyle Rittenhouse is a lot tougher than Evan Haver. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Jack, 17 year old. Literally. Dirty. Are you going Shivo for this thing? For, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be just. Well, that's what you did for the first 55 minutes oh, of this goddamn show. So that's Are you mean. allowed to put that picture next to Jack? <laughs> How does that work out? Is it in post or is it now? I, I just want to see. Yeah. Uh, Jack. Put it over my <laughs> face so I'm not in this video. Um, but definitely put it over my my side of the screen and then have Jack go full Shivo here. Uh, this is Jack Stream. Jack. There it is. You got to be a little happier. I yeah, think. the Jack Stream 5K. A little more opening, opening of the eyes. If there's, a, if there's more than 100 people in the Jack Stream 5K, you got to be a little happier, I think. Uh, that's just... Oh, Jack. That's... How are you? How, how much trouble how are you going to keep? How much trouble are we going to get? Are we going to get in for this? Because exactly? I'm, I'm. What if it's a free? Not, I don't care. Sure. I don't as care. long as we're not, not we're sure. not collecting money. No, no we're not. Money. We're not doing anything. I just love Jack's got his stomach out. He's got a he's got a can of Skull Classic Wintergreen and then a bottle of uh, Long, Long Branch, Branch from Mr. Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey, yeah. Very generous man. He's also exactly the person you think he would be. Yeah. It was a great it's, episode. It's always, did, did he say that he's going to come by once he's back in town? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh. yes. It, he's, 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 he lives around here. He says he yeah. loves he, I mean, he's, he's the Austin it's guy. It's the same right? thing, though. Like, dude, if you if COVID and all that, what, you can't do anything. No, like, might as well be where well, you want to be. Yeah, he's uh, hanging out in paradise somewhere. Mm-hmm. So paradise. is Jack. So is Jack's girlfriend. Jack, paradise. why don't you walk us on off without your shirt off? Take your shirt off and walk off screen yeah, today. I can do that. Um, and, then, uh, and then we can just get out of here on this. That way, uh, this is our last show of 2020 for Drinking Bros Podcast. We will be with you January 3rd. Subscribe, uh, rate the show a five star on YouTube, and uh, leave a quick review. Just know, if you work hard enough, you can achieve this physique and this body. And uh, look at that. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. That is it. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Are you truffle (laughs) shuffling right now? Look oh, at God, God, I'm Jack. hungry. I can almost hear the music behind that. Oh, this is Jack Stream. Look oh, at that. Jack, look you at look that. amazing in this light. Jack, look at that. Look at that. Look at what Giorgio's doing to you. Look in the camera, Jack. Oh, man. Yeah. You want to say? <laughs> yeah, Jackie. There it is, Jackie. Get it, baby. Hey. Jackie, Jackie, there Jackie, it is. Jackie, Jackie, no, Jackie, 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 Jackie. You can take it off. You can take it off. Jackie. It's good. You wearing boxers? Yeah. Oh, it's here there we it go. Merry Christmas. Yeah. 
Merry Christmas. You stayed for it. You wanted all of this right here. You stayed for this. <laughs> you stayed for Pan this. Pan back over to Jack. Jack, stand up one time. What kind of boxers are those right there? there oh, are those. man, I'm working with some good old-fashioned uh, Michael Jordan Haynes right here. Ah, this is uh, well, the that's last champion. Dance yeah, it's oh, these are the last. Yeah. The not not, the last not only dance. is it not Michael Jordan, it's not <laughs> Haynes either. It's Champion, which is a completely separate brand. You fucking imbecile! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! But you look great, though. And that's dude. the point, right? The boxes mm. of champions, Jack. I want to say this, man. Uh, as we end 2020, you're my favorite human in this year so far. I love well, you. That's horseshit. I Thank you. you though. <laughs> it's not a horseshit. It's true. You can't God just say it. that he's your favorite. You we go to a wide. Let's say goodbye to everybody on the yeah, last show of Drinking Bros. We got a couple more Drinking Bros. sports, but uh, say goodbye to everybody in a wide. Giorgio, come on in here. Come on in, everybody. Giorgio. What is this, Saturday Night Live? Or yes, we yeah. it is. Ladies it and gentlemen. Does anybody have a sign they can hold up? Hey, yeah. Mom. We should get a, a, a royalty-free song for this. Uh, Use one of mine is it this is. Saturday. We got uh, from uh, left to right here. Uh, we got D'Anthony Holloway. Giorgio, which may or may not be his real name. We'll find out later. Uh, Jared Taylor. The dude. Dan Register. Hot Bob. Uh, Jack Mandeville. <laughs> Picture of excellence and beauty. I'm Ross Patterson. We are the Drinking Bros. Good night, Merry Christmas, and Happy Holidays, everyone. Good night. <laughs>